G'day guys, I'm drowning some worms today at Red Bridge in Rochester. That's the rail bridge you can see behind me there. It's not the best fishing weather, but I'm never going to catch one sitting on the couch at home. <laughs> All right, so I've cast the first rod out there on a Pat and Oster rig. Just a small hook with worms on it. It's about uh, two thirds of the way across the river towards where them stumps are sticking up. Caught cod, yellow belly and carp in that spot before. And we've got this one with a couple of light sinkers on a running sinker rig. And that's only about a quarter of the way out. It's probably only a metre and a half of water just there. But I've caught yellows and redfin in that spot. So I'm trying to cover all my bases, got the deep water over there, the shallow water here. Going for pretty much anything, hopefully not a cod though, because it's still close season. But the accidental bycatch does happen. Let's see if I even get a bite today. Oh, there's a bite. Come on, take it. Something's having a go. Oh, pick this up. Come on. Hopefully he comes back. Here he is. He's back. Something's just having a play with it. Either that or it's a really little fish. Well, every time I walk away from the rod, he comes back for another nibble. So I might do that again. <laughs> I'm not usually superstitious, but if it's working, I'm not going to argue. Oh, he's making a liar out of me now. <laughs> I'll do a bait check on this rod. It's the one I've had the fair few nibbles on. Completely stripped me. Well, that's a good sign, but oh well, chuck some more worms on there. Alright, I've got the worms out in roughly the same spot over there. Let's see if the fish comes back. He certainly does, jeez, 10 seconds. Oh, come on. Stop playing with it and take it. Got him! Whoa! Yep, that's a carp. <laughs> Just put the rod back down and he finally bit. Oh, I think it's a carp. Looks very dark. What have we got? That is a silver perch if I'm not mistaken. Wow! Wasn't expecting that, that's why he's stealing all my bait. <laughs> he's a ripper! G'day mate! Let me have a look at ya. Oh! Dropped him. Come back here. All right, calm down mate. You're gonna get released. Just calm down. Oh, he's a beautiful silver. Good size. That's probably the biggest silver I've ever caught out of here. He's at least 35 centimeters. Might chuck him on the measuring mat. He's pretty well hooked. So I'm gonna put him back in the water, let him swim around and I'll get the measuring mat out. What a ripper of a silver perch, look at that. Yes. Get him on the mat here, which has lost its end, but I'll hold him there with my finger. There we go. 
Wow, that's easily the biggest silver I've caught. That's my PB silver perch, 41 centimeters. What a bloody ripper, look at it. Beautiful fish. All right, mate, let's get you unhooked. Thumb barely fits in his mouth. You can see they've got a tiny little mouth. I've said that on one of my previous videos, but even that was a tiny silver. This is a good size. Look at him, ripper of a fish. All right, time to let him go. Had a rough day, mate, on the end of a hook. You go when you're ready. Beautiful catch. We're after that one. They're pretty rare around here. And to see them at that size, that's exciting. All right, so I've rebaited my Patnoster rig with a few worms on the hook there. Plan is to put it in the exact same spot. Unsure if there's any other fish there. But uh, I haven't had a nibble on the other rod, so it only makes sense to put this one back where it was. There's a bird around here that sounds exactly like bells ringing. Me and Damo talk about it all the time. We can't figure out what bird it is, but it must be some sort of copycat bird. It must hear the bells and then copy them. It's up there somewhere, but I can't see it. <laughs> well, it's been about 15 minutes since I got that silver, and I haven't had a touch since. So I think he stole my bait twice out there. Now he's moved on, obviously, because he's spooked and not going to go the bait again. He's hiding somewhere else. There might not be any other fish here today that are hungry anyway. <laughs> I'm still here for a while, so hopefully the bites pick up again. Don't you do a poo on me. I'll take a couple of steps back, I think. And <laughs> Don't you follow me. You mongrel. <laughs> daylight savings now. I think it's going to get dark at about 8 o'clock. It's only about 6.30. But it is very overcast. We might get some rain soon. So my session might get cut a little bit short. Wouldn't mind a few more bites before then, though. Here we go. Better check I'm recording. Same type of bite I had before, just a tiny, tiny single go at it. Could be another silver. Bit very similarly. Oh, geez, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Bites are back. It's probably too dark for you to see anything, but if I manage to hook a fish, I do have a light around my neck that I'll switch on. It's great to see the Compassby River firing up again. It's about time we're second month into spring and I'm finally starting to get some bites on the river. I had plenty of them today and I caught my personal best silver perch at 41 centimetres. Uh, it's the biggest one I've heard being pulled out of this section of the river, that's for sure. Now, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Consider subscribing to support me. I'll catch you in the next one.